Tonight we're learning new details about that shocking video that swept the nation showing a toddler waving a handgun in Beach Grove. All of it playing out on live TV as On Patrol Live caught those moments that officers found the gun and then eventually arrested the father. Our Rachel Kraus joins us live in studio tonight. And so, Rachel, he's facing now felony charges? Yeah, tonight Shane Osborne faces three charges, including dangerous control of a firearm and neglect of a dependent. And now court records and video from police reveal the child actually led officers straight to the weapon. He'd been caught on camera waving around. Tonight, court records paint a clearer picture of what happened that led to a four-year-old in a diaper carrying a handgun waving it around and soon after his father's arrest. Scary moments for neighbors living in the Beach Grove apartment complex. Very grateful that, you know, luckily my neighbors, they seen it. They called the police immediately. They acted quickly. Tabitha Blackman says she was home earlier in the day with her kids when she heard a child playing around outside and assumed they were with their parents doing laundry. When she opened the door, she saw the child standing there alone, wearing just a diaper. But I didn't know whose child it was, so I didn't know you know, whose apartment he had came from. Um, and then it was probably about hour and a half to two hours after that, that the police actually showed up. Who's here with you? Is mom or dad here? Body camera footage from officers and cameras rolling from at? a docu-series featuring Beach Grove police show the child's father, Shane Osborne, telling police he'd been sick, sleeping all day and that he didn't own a gun because of previous felony convictions. Officers searched for the gun and had out empty handed, turning back around after neighbor's security cameras showed what happened. But where'd you put down that toy? As officers look through the apartment again, unable to locate the gun, one officer asks the child where he put it. The child takes officers straight over to a desk in the living room where the handgun is laying. Court records show the gun didn't have a round in the chamber, but did have 15 rounds in the magazine. I had seen him prior to that, but I didn't see him with the gun. So when I heard that he had had the firearm, I was like, OK, that's that's a problem. According to the probable cause affidavit, Osborne said the gun belonged to his cousin, who sometimes left it there when he felt mentally unstable, but told police he didn't know the gun was in his apartment or that his son knew where it was. Osborne was arrested soon after. Blackman says it's a heartbreaking situation for everyone involved. I'm not here to judge. Parents make mistakes. So I'm just glad that, you know, it got handled before anybody got hurt. Osborne is expected to face a judge on these charges Thursday afternoon.